Okay, hi everyone. I am Victoria Valentine Fireflies and sorry earlier I don't have no makeup on but and my hair is not done but um right now I do. Okay, um after I put the what is it um roast the uh what is that called um the five star seasoning thing. Um then I put the uh, beef bone, beef rib, and boil it until it um, get the meat gets softened. And then after that, it boils for like a few hours, uh, four hours. So I'm going to add first spoon to flavor the broth. And whoop, second spoon. Made a little mess, but it's okay. Mess is good good mess is good so that's three spoon and then you flavor it taste it flavor it and see how it goes you can add uh, lots in but you can't take lots out add little by little at a time so um let's go try it okay i have scooped the oil a lot of the oil the grease not the oil, the grease from the beef bone, it, so I don't get clogged up. I don't want my artery to be clogged up. So I'm very cautious of what I eat. I don't want high cholesterol, clog up artery, heart attacks. So I'm going to dump out all this grease. And then right now I'm going to um, use this spoon and this spoon pour it in here and taste test it separately and not put saliva or anything back double dip it into the pot nobody wants to eat my germs and bacteria I don't want to eat their germs and bacteria either and this is what I use right here the fob beef seasoning and then they have this bag that is a seasoning too and it smells really good so we're gonna drop one in right here there we go that gives it more flavor more aroma and more seasoning so I make it medium so it's not too salty and not too sweet or anything so um, if people who want to eat they eat and then if it's not right they want more sweet or more salty they add it into their bowl instead of in here because this is just a you want it to be medium but not overpowering and not overdoing the seasoning or the broth because it will screw it up and if you over put your um, more flavor into it, it, you know, you can destroy the flavor of the pho. So you want to season it just perfect. Don't overdo it and don't underdo it. You need to do it. Add hoisin sauce and add sriracha and eat it with um, basil. And I like mine or I love mine with medium rare, not well done. Uh, beef and instead of three spoon I make it four so um, it'll be more you know flavorful it's called beef bouillon or beef powder bouillon for the pho but um, my pho I put lots of bone and lots of um, beef uh, beef ribs so that will give it more beefy flavor but on the side I put more of a raw um, I like it medium uh, or thick uh, beef slice not super paper thin I'm not on a diet I love to eat so stop putting me on a diet just because you're on a diet or you're a cheapskate or just because you're you know you're you just like to eat like that doesn't mean I have to eat it like you. That's why I buy my own pho ingredients and I cook my own pho. 
I don't like to eat other people's pho because they buy the super thin and I don't taste no meat. No, you know, I'm, I love to eat meat and I love to eat thick slice of meat, not super thin. I'm not on a diet like everybody else. I'm not on a restriction. Do not tell me how much I can eat or do not tell me I cannot eat this, I cannot eat that. It's my own freedom, privilege, and rights and privacy. This I'm the boss of this um, pho pot, so I'm my own boss. I work for myself. I cook my own food. I slice it the way I want it, and I slice it medium. Not super thin, not thin, not paper thin. So I like to taste the beef flavor, but medium rare, you know? And I don't like to make it well done. So I'm my own boss. Do not tell me what I can do and what I can't do, and do not tell me what to do. You're not my boss. You don't own my pot of pho. You cannot come in here and uh, come in here and season and do whatever you want to my pot either, Hunty Lay, and everyone involved. I'm the owner of this pot, not you. I do not like people invading my privacy, freedom, rights, and space. And do not flirt, seduce, stalk, sexually harassing, and bother, and distract, interrupt, interfere, and disturb me and my boyfriends or my dates or my fiancés to be or my grooms or my husbands to be and my baby's daddies to be. Do not call, text, seduced, flirt, all of you strippers, or all of you masseuse, or all of you crazy prostitutes, and females criminal trespasser, and females intruders. My man loves me, not loves you. And it's kick Gina Kim and Sunny, and Miss Kim Kim, and all of the Korean females, and mixed Korean females, and mixed white females, Germany, mixed Irish, kicked all the females out. You cannot say whatever you want in here. You're not my boss, and you can't do whatever you want as you please sexually to violate my boyfriends or fiancés or groom or husband or baby's daddies. You're not my guest. You're not our guest, and you're barging in here, intruding in here, criminal trespassing, you stupid, crazy females. This place is not for you stupid, crazy females to come barging in here to eat. You're not my girlfriend, you're not my wife, you're not my queen or nothing. You're not my boss. You're not the owner of my fob. And you're not my partnership either. You're not my man's partnership either. So go away. Just kick out all the females. And the white man is right. He says, kick out all the females. And put me back into my space. And you gay fags, do not flirt or seduce my man either. And last of all, I'm going to add three spoons of sugar in here to give it a more beautiful flavor. And there we go. Let it boil. And let me go grab some of the basil and let me re-season it and re-flavor it and see how it tastes I use one spoon the big spoon to pour into the second spoon which is my flavoring spoon pretty good and I don't put my germs and bacteria or saliva into that pot right there or into this spoon. So I use this spoon to pour it into that spoon so I can taste it separately. And then if I need more, I use the big spoon and or the leto, they call it leto. I call it big spoon. I don't like the word leto. I'm like, what is a leto? <laughs> but, um, what is it, uh? I use that, this spoon to taste separately, 
so I don't put germs, bacteria into the pot to, is, you know, to con uh, spread it around uh, any illness or anything, which I'm healthy, so I don't have no illness. And I do get my HIV and STD checked, and it's negative, and I'm waiting for a donor. So who's the baby's daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> I'm your cook. I'm your princess. I'm your queen. I'm your boss. I'm your highness. I'm your empress. I'll be your sugar mama one day. But now, I'm your spanker. Okay, I'm going to cut in some fresh basil. That should be good. Will you marry me? <laughs> That's my basil. And check out my new ride. I just got my uh, me a new bike, and it's baby blue. Okay, how to tell if the fall is ready? Is inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. What do you smell? Um, I smell a pot of pho, beef pho. Come and get it. It's hot beef pho. Okay, this is how the pho pot look, should look like. It went down, so the simmer, the beef rib is very soft and moist and tender. And then here's the vegetable right here. There's basil, cilantro, and yellow onions. And the sliced beef, this is medium thin. There you go. I like it raw so that I can put it on the side, on the top, and then pour the uh, hot broth of uh, beef broth around it. And to the, towards the end, then add, pour, pour the broth on top of it so that it will be uh, cooked a little well done, not overdoing it. So you don't want to overpower and over seasoning the broth and the meat. You don't want to I don't want to cook it well done. I like it medium rare. So, thank you for joining me. And you can sprinkle some of the um, green leaf onion, which is, let me show you, like these. Cut up, slice up like these, and put some colors on it. And you can add some sriracha, we're running out, but I have more. And then, where's the hoisin sauce? And the hoisin sauce right here. They come out with new colorful uh, labels and, you know, sticker tags, whatever you want to call it. But this is the hoisin sauce. It goes with the pho. So, I like to add... On the side, a little fish sauce with the three crabs, and then I like to eat it with a little bit of sesame oil and squeeze some lime on. If you don't squeeze some lime juice on, it's not going to taste good, and it will cook the 
uh, beef too. And then sprinkle some black peppers. And add some chili peppers to it too. Or jalapenos. Oh, by the way, my hair is uneven, so I'm gonna have it's time for me to layer my hair. Look how long my hair is. I can't show you all my hair, but let me see if I can do it like this. Like this. On the back. Right there. See how long my hair is. You can see my hair. Time to layer it. So I will, I just colored my hair. So all my stress, my headache, my um, gray hairs are not to be seen. It disappears. So, um, but thank you for joining me. And I will have a bowl of pho set up. Oh, and I was joking with other people. Um, I have uh, what is it? Uh, the pho noodles too. And I was joking with Mr. Michael McCormick and saying I was in, in a sarcastic joking way. Oh, yes, boss. Yes, boss. Like they're my boss. You see what I'm saying? They're not my boss. I'm my own boss. You don't run my pho business. You don't run my cooking, my food business. You do not tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. This is my money, my foods, and I'm... A sole proprietorship so you're not my boss I'm my own boss you're not my partnership do not tell me what to do it's my money my food so show me some respect and stop disrespecting me and I was joking with everybody saying I'm ugly I'm butt crack ugly and so is my boyfriends they're ugly the butt crack ugly but really none of the pesty nasty chip tooth, grumpy, disgusting, hoarding, yucky, unsanitary, dysfunctional, disorganized, trashy, filthy, hillbillies, coon ass, and bushman, FOBs, and if you don't have good teeth, you're not my man. You're not my boss. I'm 42 going on 43 this year. Next month on Valentine's Day is my birthday. My birthday is Valentine's Day, February 14, 1977. I am Victoria Valentine Fireflies. Born here in the U.S. at Tampa General Hospital in Tampa, Florida, Hillsborough County. And I'd rather be a trust fund baby. And I'd rather, when I grow up, I want to be a princess. And a beauty queen. And a farmer. Okay, look what I got. A whole piece of chicken is called Ya Guifi, meaning the, the princess or the empress chicken or the imperial chicken. Okay, that's how it looks like with the beef, basil, fried onions, cilantro, and the noodles at the bottom. Now we're going to pour the broth in. Hmm. Hôm nay bổng cung nấu phở thấy mệt quá. Thôi, bổng cung ăn chút xíu phở rồi đi ngủ, đi nghỉ ngơi. Say what? You mean that my food is not dirty, nasty, disgusting, filthy, trashy, gross, disorganized, dysfunctional, and yucky, and dirty? Say what? You mean that I'm not a dirty, nasty, disgusting, filthy hoarder? 
unsanitary? And you mean that my food isn't unsan unsanitary too? Say what? You mean I'm crazy, but crazy and a good crazy? Not a bad girl crazy? Say what? You mean I'm a naughty girl, not a nasty girl? Say what? I only give my male dates, my male boyfriends, my male fiance, my male grooms, or my male baby's daddies, or my male soulmates, and my male boss men permission to say whatever they want. But I don't give permission for these females to tell me what to do and what I can do and what I can't do. You don't own me. Do not tell me what to do. You're not my boss. And you don't run my business. You're not partnership with me. So stop telling me what to do and what I can do and what I can't do. This is my money, not yours. This is my food, not yours. This is my man, not yours. Yes, I have boyfriends, not boyfriend. Not kick my boyfriend or my male dates out, but kick the female criminal trespassers out and females intruders out. That's Koreans and blacks and Irish mix Germany. Say what? You mean I'm not 500 pound, obese, heavy set, overweight? Say what? You mean to tell me that I'm not ugly? Say what? You mean to tell me that I'm not butt crack ugly? Say what? You mean to tell me I'm not ghetto? Say what? You mean to tell me that I'm not retarded or mentally ill or have a disability? Say what? Okay, let's get back to the food right now. So it's boiling right now and I have removed the grease and fat. I'm going to do it one more time to get all the grease and fat out so it won't clog up my artery and won't give me a heart attack. I don't want no stroke either. Okay. Throw it out. Ow! It's very hot, so be careful. I burned my foot, uh, my, uh, my ankle one time when I was dating my boyfriend, my date, or my boyfriend, Aaron Lankowski. So just pour in the broth. I love a lot of broth. Okay, and then turn off the heat, and I this I don't add uh, water into it to make it go high and low and whatever. I just boil the water until it simmers slowly down, and then it will um, all the sweet broth of the beef bone will come out. So you're getting more of the proteins and. Um, nutrients and this is how my Vietnamese pho broth uh, pho bowl look like and we're gonna stir it up mix it up from the bottom up so I like it medium rare see it's slowly cooking by itself and I'm gonna squeeze some lime on it so I'm a food explorer I love to explore good yummy delicious food fresh hot and delicious, yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy. All of my boyfriends, all of my dates, all of my fiancés, all of my grooms, all of my baby's daddy is hot, supermodel, gorgeous, and intelligent. Not nasty, pesty, disgusting, hoarding, yucky people. They are upscale people. And kick out Gina Kim and all of the Korean females. You don't run my business and you don't own my business, so roll the fuck out. And take a goddamn hike. And excuse my French. Wham, bam, squam, and beat it, bitch. Damn peasants. And you damn parasites. This goes for Sunny, Gina Kim, Miss Kim Kim, and all of the Koreans involved, and all of the black girls involved, and all of the Asian Vietnamese females, too, involved.
You're not my boss. You don't own my business. You don't own me. You don't run my business. So wham, bam, and scram and beat at all of you involved. Damn prostitutes. And damn truck stop hookers. And damn bums. And damn parasites. You damn fetus. Y'all such an eyesore. Y'all not beautiful, not pretty. I don't even want to look like y'all. Y'all so pretty, but pretty ugly. <laughs> Make me want to vomit. Now the nasty, pesty, disgusting, ugly, eyesore hoarders. Y'all so ugly. Y'all so ugly that...